Hello! <laughs> this is Skibby and Iro. Crunch is up in the window. Iro, you should get up in the window too, buddy. Scooch boy. Yep. You guys are up there now. Okay, I guess we're not. Um, <laughs> Battle Box was supposed to be in today, but instead of that, um, got my uh, Spyderco second sale. They called it a red and black sale, I guess. That happened a couple days, I guess, last week. Um, they had some pretty cool stuff. They were trying out a new site because their base site, when they did the second sale the first time, was terrible. Um, that's where we got that one. Um, but I wanted to pop on and, and show the kind of stuff that you would get in a Spyderco second sale for... Crazy amounts less. Um, th they did have a couple mystery boxes, and if you want to see something that could have been in those, please go check out Uncommon EDC. He got the $250 mystery box, and it came with some really cool stuff. Um, he got some shreddy carbon fiber scales on a uh, pair of three that just look killer. Um, I just got the G10... <laughs> so that's pretty lucky um but yeah so the first my first experience with spider co seconds was this here uh paramilitary 2 and the only real issue that i could find is a wonky grind because the uh edge bevel towards the tip there sorry had to keep an eye on crunchy Kind of got wonky there, right? I don't know if you can tell. Otherwise, everything's pretty good. The action is a little bit loose, I guess. I don't know. It's looser than this uh, pair of three that's a first. But, you know, no huge deal. Otherwise, that's that's about it, really. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> and that's about the same experience with this Manix 2 that I got this past time. I don't know how much these run standard, um, but I got this one for 79 bucks. This is in S110V. So, pretty, pretty, pretty premium stuff. Um, yeah, I can't, I don't know if you can tell, but the bevel, the edge bevel is good here, and then it flares out. A little bit. I'm wondering if that's what the deal is. But otherwise the bevel does seem kind of large. But that's about it. Um, and of course we got our second nick on the back there. Ooh. Just like with this one. Right there. Boop. But you know. So, Manix 2, CPM S110V, with the blue-purple or blurple scales. It's pretty cool. Um, action's a little bit, or the, the spring is stiff, but I think that's commonplace. I'm going to swap the clip out. I, I don't really like these clips. What are you going to do? But, size comparisons. Um, the... This, PM2 is a little bit longer, but also not as tall, like height-wise, is kind of fun. So, you know, the Manix is pretty big, and it took a little bit of time to get in, you know, figure out how it's going in the pocket, because it's so wide, and because this thing is covered in jimping. Of course, we got our finger toil jimping right we also have back of the blade jimping so there's double jimping on this side then we have the continue the continuance of the back jimping that goes way down far but then also <laughs> there's like rear finger jimping so this thing is is just some kind of solid man it's pretty cool and it's got that ball bearing in there i don't know if you can see 
So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But, you know, Mandix compared to PM3, much bigger. Here's that warning little native, which they also had on the second sale. This cute little thing. Now there's a crunchy. There's two boys. You boys, heck off. So, you know, much smaller hole. Still, very recommendable knife. Boom. This thing is great. I love this. It's not mine, but, you know, it's still a great knife. Um, Manix 2 compared to something of the Griptilian size, full size Benchmade, we'll say. So, they're comparable when closed. Of course, Spider Coat's taller. But this Redoubt is much longer open. Even though we get less handle usables, you know, less usable handle, we get way more cutting edge. So, you know, it, it's, it's, it's whatever you need, really. Like your use case. And the bug out. Of course, it's, it just dwarfs the bug out. But funny thing, comparable cutting edges. So, you know. What are you going to do? Anyway, um, I've been pretty happy with Spyderco seconds that I've gotten so far. And uh, you can't return them from, excuse me, maintenance or anything. So, like, mod them to your heart's content with the money you save. <laughs> it's pretty cool stuff. They're all usable. So, you know. It's a pretty good option to get some really, really cool steels and some really funky uh, colorways and stuff because it's whatever they have, really. Those mystery boxes, I know they put some really cool stuff in those. Again, if you can find videos on those, go check them out. I'm, I'm sure they're amazing. But anyway, just wanted to hop on and say that because I didn't get Battle Box today. Wah, wah. But I did get, um, so I won, uh, I won a Video Addict giveaway again. I think that's my third one. Yeah. By the way, you should go <laughs> figure out how to win those battle boxes and sign up. <laughs> because there's not a lot of people that enter into those. So go do it. Um, and, and that one was box 78. Um, I don't think I'm going to do a video on it because it's it's just so old and, you know, if you want to see, they, they got all that stuff everywhere. Um, what are you doing? What? You, you pushing my camera? You silly boy. Um, if somebody wants me to, I can post it. Um, it's a pretty okay box, but yeah, I don't know. I wasn't thinking about it. Okay, anyway, um, man, this boy wants some pets. I'm going to give this boy some pets and all that stuff. So, oh, geez. Oh, geez, you boy. Anyway, um, I hope everybody has a great day, having a good weekend, happy Christmas, happy Yule, all that stuff. Um, happy Hanukkah. That ha that, that's coming through, right? I think Ramadan already happened earlier in the year. All the holidays. Whatever you celebrate. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Now this boy's getting up in my face. I need to go. Alright. Goodbye. <laughs>